the first module we saw a cross section of the earth which just showed the main sections, the inner and outer core, the mantle and the crust and then we saw that the upper part of the crust and the upper part of the mantle and the crust together we called the lithosphere. So, the upper part of the mantle is the asthenosphere which is plastic, it can flow and that is why the continents can move. So, we are using this very preliminary information about geology to go into how the continents move, how that can affect climate and how that can affect life and how life and climate also interact with each other. So, just look at this section again, uh, we are basically showing the sphere now and taking a chunk out of it and expanding it out here and looking at a depth of uh, uh, down to 700 kilometers, just a little part of the upper earth uh, which is showing part of the asthenosphere or the plastic part of the uh, mantle and the lithosphere on top of it which is very rigid and you have the crust on top again remembering that the oceanic crust is very dense and thin and dark and the continental uh, crust is lighter and in color and density, both are igneous rocks, basaltic and granitic, right. This is basically allows the pressure and the temperatures allow the melting of the asthenosphere and make it move, the continents can drift and move as the oceanic crust forms and subducts under or collides with the continental uh, crust you can have all kinds of earthquakes, plate tectonic movements and so on. So, we will get little bit later on into a very specific example of how Indian subcontinent itself moved over several million years, how it created uh, the Himalayas, how that affected uh, the regional climate and the global climate and how that created also a change in carbon dioxide led to pre creation of new species of plants and some animals and so on. So, this gives us a good handle on how the earth's evolution was not just geological or biological or climate, but everything interacted with each other. So, many of the features are also called uh, geobio features because biology affects through erosion chemical weathering and so on, the mountains, uh, coastlines, etc. So, it is interesting to understand the interaction of the biosphere with climate, but also geology with climate. So, this is just a short module. Now, we will switch to some basics of biology and examples of the uh, movement of India as a specific case of how uh, geology, uh, climate and biology interacted with each other. Mm -hmm.